welcome to my new minivan. Uh, thank you guys for watching. We're going to take you on another tour for Ruckus and the Boonies. This year will be 2017, and we took you on a tour for 2016. And we're going to do things a little bit different this time. This time I'm driving. Do a little bit more talking as we go. We want to take you on an actual tour of the town and uh, show you how to get to places quick, you know. And uh, show you the campgrounds firsthand. I don't know how much... We should be able to film most of this inside the van because it's windy as hell outside. And I don't want to... I, I want you guys to be able to hear me. I don't want to be standing in the van with my hat flying everywhere. Um, so, But anyways, I just want to thank all you guys that have been supporting us. We've had a core group of the same supporters since we started this pretty much, and we've gained a few, too. It's been a really rough year for us. Um, some days I feel like I'm losing my mind with it, but I think it's just how business goes sometimes, and I've got to step back and breathe and just chill out and realize that not everything is going to go the way that it's supposed to go, and that I've been really fortunate that things have been as easy for us as they have been. And one of the reasons it's rough is just ticket sales are down, and it's not just us. I know for a fact that pretty much like every music festival, aside from a couple, are doing not doing so good this year. So it just tells me that the market's oversaturated. And the ones that get through this year are going to be the ones that last, because a lot of festivals are probably going to die this year. And that's just how it goes. It's the nature of the beast. It's like when you got too many sharks and not enough fish to eat, you know, sharks are going to start dying. I was telling Felix Thursday the other day, uh, I, I used a little Forrest Gump analogy. Uh, I told him that I felt like Lieutenant Dan in the scene where the storm hits the shrimping boat that they're on. And... I think, like, I just feel like I'm just, like, sitting on the, you know, the top sail just screaming my head off sometimes. And just, I think that once this storm comes and some of these other shrimping boats are going to be uh, no longer with us, I think that will really... Uh, We'll be doing good next year. So, uh, much like Forrest Gump and Lieutenant Dan did, they had five Gen A's after, after that hurricane. Oh, I'm so stupid sometimes. Anyways, we're rolling into Hepner now. So, we're on the highway between Lexington and Hepner right now. Most of you guys are coming, coming either this way or up the highway some more. If you're coming east, west, or north, you're going to be coming in here. If you're coming south, you still might come up this way, but that you might come up the highway some. So we're at the golf course here. Um, if you want to do a little golfing, it's a heck of a golf course. But we're not starting till like four, three in the afternoon, four, so we've got plenty of time to get stuff. There's a new fire hall. Shout out to Hepner Fire Department, man. These guys, they're volunteers, and they have kept this town from burning down so many times. For a, a group of volunteers, the Hepner Fire Department is top notch. They're good to go. They know what they're doing. Old stomping grounds. Up here is the swimming pool. You guys got kids that you bring in, you want to take a little break to skip out. I'm sure they'd love to have you come take a little swim in the pool. I know the Cutters take their kids there almost every year they're there. Mary Chandler runs the swimming pool. She's a good lady. Entering Hepner. Gateway to the Blues. <laughs> So coming up here on your right here in just a bit, we're going to hit the motel. Right across the street here to your left, if you come over this footbridge, there's a crosswalk right in front of us that'll pretty much they take you right up to Ruckus. And it's like probably a five minute walk, maybe ten. Over here we got Murray's Drug Store and your grocery store. Everything's right on the main drag. You get a mean cup of coffee at Murray's. Over here we got the historical Bucknum's Tavern. 
where the uh, first and second ruckus took place. A lot of the shows there. They're a sponsor of ours. Not really a sponsor. They're actually more like partners, to be honest. And uh, we're gonna hit the highway now, and we'll show you where the campsite's at. So we're coming up. Just stay straight on this highway, like we did. You know, we haven't turned once yet. Right here, you're going to take a left. He's the first place you can really take a proper left at. I mean, there's some turn and like gravel roads and shit. But this is uh, another highway. <laughs> Try not to cuss too much, but you're probably gonna catch an F bomb here or there. Sorry, guys. Uh, but yeah, this is this goes up towards Cutsworth Park, which is not where we're camping at. We're camping at uh, Willow Creek RV, right there on your left see the sign right as you come up over the top of this hill you start going down you'll see the sign that says Willow Creek Campground actually not. and when you get here you'll hit a fork you want to just keep going straight all right well here we are last time we did this we'll probably do it the same way again here's your initial park host Gary and Diane they're good folks um, don't worry about stopping and talking to them, though. We'll have our own uh, host for you guys. And he'll probably be set up right down here somewhere. All these beautiful, beautiful areas to camp. Do not drive your cars on here. There's a sprinkler system. Um, parking is always kind of an issue. There's parking up there. Uh, if you need to come in and set your camp up, just park someplace until you do and then maybe move out to the other parking spot or find a spot where you're not going to be in anybody's way. So that's kind of like the one inconvenience, but everything else is just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. As you can see. I freaking love this view. A lot of swimming I did with kids. Up here, me and Chris, he's filming it, he used to walk. Oh! way to the dam just to swim down there at those docks with our kids. And then we'd walk all the way home because our parents wouldn't give us rides. These damn millennials just sit in air conditioning playing Minecraft nowadays. We used to walk, we used to swim in this nasty ass water. But yeah, no campfires here folks. Can't have any campfires. It's it's May right now and it's dry as hell over here. You know, we had snow all, all winter. And this is like green for us. So come summertime. It's dry. Things can go up fast. I was saying earlier, our volunteer fire department's good, but I don't really want to use it. Um, this is like one of the tent areas. It's supposed to be like the tent area, but we've already talked to basically any place with a green, grassy area that you want to put your tent in. You can put it in. Just be mindful of the sprinklers. Um, RV passes are up right now. I can't remember what they're set at right now. But your regular pass for two days of music and three days of camping in this beautiful area is 40 bucks. So, tell your friends. It's going to be a heck of a good time. As you see up here, we got some houses, so keep the partying at a dole roar. <laughs> Last time, they didn't really care. I think they all know it's coming. <clears throat> Alright. Also for you folks wanting to uh, walk into town, if you walk down this road, take a right, not a left, it'll take you through the cemetery and it'll be like a mile shorter to get you into town than walking down the highway like we came up. A lot of people were walking down the highway. It's like a two hour walk at least. And then you have to walk up that giant hill. Ugh. We're also running shuttles for you guys too, so we'll be 
running those every hour on the hour or something like that. So you guys don't have to drive, worry about driving. But if you do want to drive, this is how you get to the festival. You take a right at the stop sign, like you, you know, going back into town. And I've been making peace with myself and those around me heading east and west on I-90. And I think that when I'm old, I might plant my roots here when I fold. What better place to call your very own but Big Sky Country? That Big Sky Country. At the stop sign at the bottom of the hill, this is to get to Ruckus. Like I said, we'll provide shuttles too, but in this case, you want to drive yourself because you're sober. It'd be the only reason you'd want to drive yourself. It's because you're sober. You can take a ride at the stop sign at the bottom of the hill, right at Les Schwab's. Over here, you'll see one of our one of our numbers of sponsors, uh, Hepner Auto Parts, over there. Good folks, good folks. Up here you got the beautiful courthouse, new county building. Over here, this is where you'll pop up if you cross the bridge from the motel. If that makes any sense. Alright, now I'll come up here. Alright, now we're coming up. We're coming up to the fairgrounds. Where we will be having ruckus in the boonies again this year. For those of you that were with us last year, we did it in the rodeo grounds. And I uh not really going to we're not doing it there again for a couple different reasons um, one being the dirt two being that we have a stage right here you shoot right up here this is where we're gonna be doing the show this year so hometown for being the food vendor last year. Really also, if you see these trees up here, they're all dead right now. But during the summertime, they get really nice and green and they actually provide shade. There's another reason that we're not doing it over there. There's no shade. You're eating dirt all day. We'll probably split, split this up. I'm not sure how we're going to be splitting the 21 and upside up just yet. I know that one thing we're doing, the 21 and upside will definitely be like over here and the 21 and under will be over here. I'm just not sure how we're going to split up yet. 
just depends on how many tickets for underage we sell, kind of, I think, is what's going to happen. But over here, where this door is kind of broken, right here, that's where the bar is going to be. It's going to be inside there. And also, all the merch sales will be in there. So, uh, that's where that'll be. There'll be a fence running right up the middle of this, probably. Here's the stage this year. So, it's going to be a lot nicer than last year. Nice and shady, nice and grassy. Not as big of an area, but I think there'll be plenty of room for everybody. Um, so, this is where your Ruckus and the Boonies 2017 will be at. Be sure to come down to Bucknum's on Thursday for the pre-show. We went by Bucknum's on the way into town. Showed you how to get here from the motel. Showed you how to get here from the RV spot. I think that just about covers it. Um, thanks to all our sponsors. Anybody who wants to sponsor, please hit me up at Ruckus and the Boonies uh, at yahoo.com. Because we could use some more sponsorship. Go get your tickets. Tell your friends. There's a donate button because we could use all the help we can get right now. We're going to make it by just fine. But the more we have, the better off we are for next year. So, I'm Dog by Harris. It's another amazing episode of what's going on at Ruckus this year.